Hey guys, a little bit more unfortunate news with Watchmen just being cancelled. Now, Mindhunter Season 3 is in a possible limbo. David Fincher right now is really focusing on two different projects, one being Mank. This is a film that his father wrote a script for before he died, and this has been something that Fincher has wanted to make for quite some time. The film is about screenwriter Herman J. McKenzie-Wicks and his battles with director Orson Welles over the screenplay credit for Citizen Kane. He's also really hard at work with Love, Death, and Robots. It's just kind of peculiar because Fincher was really involved with Mindhunter. He directed several episodes, and this was something that was really in vain of works that he's done like Zodiac R7. So the fact that he left it as it is. Last month, Netflix let the options of the actors, led by stars Holt McKinley and John Nathan Groth, lapse, further raising the possibility that we may not see it. So now, since there isn't really any immediate plans for season 3, all the actors have been released from their contracts temporarily to go off and do what they want, which is great for them, but admittedly this also makes it difficult to get them back together again to make a third season. So there's going to have to be scheduling conflicts, we might lose some actors, hopefully not because the three main cast members are still pretty good. I enjoy this show immensely. The only thing that's been kind of a bit of an oddity for me is what they're going to do with BTK. You know, Mr. Mustache. They've been teasing at BTK ever since the show started. However, the show starts its timeline in the late 70s and we're kind of going now into the early 80s. BTK wasn't caught until 2005, so I don't know what they were going to do unless the third season was either going to be an immediate follow-up or a jump in time. Particularly, I thought about that maybe from Tench's son. His son is displaying signs of what some early psychopaths would display his lack of emotion, the involvement he had with the murder of that child, as well as just his complete lack of connection with humanity. I didn't know if they were going to continue this later on and then they might be hunting his own son, if they were going to really kind of go into that more dramatic, more sort of fiction storytelling rather than the non-fiction setting that they've really established themselves in. Either way, I'm very interested to see what they do next considering the second season was a little bit of a deviation from the first, which is great because you don't want the same thing over and over again. They were still giving you interviews with really interesting and memorable serial killers, but at the same time, they also were focusing on a Atlanta murder case that I never heard of. This was a really in-depth view of how the investigation went and it reminded me of stuff like The Wire and Zodiac. So if they do make a third season I really am interested to see what they do next but at the same time I do see the kind of production sort of narrative struggle of what to do next because there is this kind of gap that they've left themselves particularly with BTK <coughs> so unless they're gonna do some sort of jump in time or they're going to kind of distract you with a another major investigation or maybe they might even talk about the further pros but also somewhat flaws of profiling because they even show that it's not a hundred percent accurate even though it does get very good results. It's not 100% accurate. And this is something that the entire concept of profile investigation has been scrutinized by ever since its inception. I really do hope they make a third season. I really do enjoy this true crime sort of storytelling and the episodes were always really well directed. It felt like watching mini Fincher films. But I guess we'll have to see. It's going to be great to see David Fincher actually do a movie again because the last movie he did was Gone Girl, which is crazy. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, We'll see you guys soon.